Hello, uh, my name is Guillermo Samaniego. Uh, I attend Ferris Baptist Church here. Uh, I was asked that I would uh, do day 24 in the Stepping Forward devotional uh, through the book of Ephesians. So I'm going to go ahead and start with prayer and then I will read that and uh, you know go over that a little bit with everybody. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just want to thank you, Father God, for your word, for it is so rich. We thank you for its truth, Father God. We thank you for its direction. We ask, Lord, that uh, right now as we go through this devotion, Father God, that you would speak to our hearts, that you would empty us of our flesh, and that your Holy Spirit would speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So um, day 24 was uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 19. So I'm going to go ahead and read uh, that. And it says, with the Lord's authority, I say this, live no longer as the Gentiles do, for they are hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against him. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. As we can see here, uh, as Paul's talking to the church in Ephesus, uh, first thing that comes for me is I notice that he says with the Lord's authority, I say live no longer as the Gentiles. This is not a suggestion by Paul. This is a command, not just to the church of Ephesus, but also to us believers today. So I would say to you that take that command and don't take it lightly. It says live no longer as the Gentiles, for they are hopelessly confused. Our word says that confusion is not of God, it is of the enemy. So we know that in that, that it's something that we shouldn't take lightly. It shouldn't be something that we just brush off. It should be something that is brought to mind and that we should keep it in the forefront of our mind that we should no longer live like our former lives. Second of all, it says their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives because they've closed their minds and hardened their hearts against him. Well, the word says in it, it says that we are not to be conformed unto this world, but transformed by the renewing of our mind. OK, so it's very important that as believers that we're daily getting into God's word, that God would lighten our minds, that he would not only lighten, enlighten our minds, but enlighten our spirits. Because as we continue in that scripture, it also says that when we do this, that we will get to know God's perfect and pleasing will for our lives. So it is very important that not only do we no longer live as the Gentiles, but we no longer think as the Gentiles. And as we continue on, it says that they have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. Our lives should have no um, uh, traces or remnants of the things that we used to do or the concepts or the ideologies of this world. And a lot of times, you know what, even though we're believers in Christ and we have been given the Holy Spirit, this world is always constantly bombarding us with their ideas, bombarding us with their concepts of going along with the crowd. And we need to stop and remember, just like Paul had warned us, that we are to no longer live as the Gentiles live. We are to put on the mind of Christ. We are to do that by reading his word, by making sure that we uh, not only read his word, but we're not just hearers of it, but we are actually doers of it. And that we do not participate in the things of the world. Uh, yes, we live here, but we don't not participate in those things. Those things should be no longer a part of us no, uh, at all. We're going to have many voices as believers coming to us, bombarding us that we should do this and we should do that. But the only voice that we should be listening to is the voice of truth. And we hear that voice of truth through God's word, through fellowship with fellow believers, coming to church, corporate worship. So basically the challenge to you today and to me is to say, look, not only did I accept Christ, but there's going to be... Um, the word, Jesus said it this way. He said, let there be uh, fruits of repentance. 
So people need to not only know that we confess Jesus, that we confess to be believers, but our lives show that we no longer have the remnants or we have the ideologies or we have anything that shows that we are associated with the world, that our association and our alliance is with Jesus Christ and him and him only. So I hope that you did receive something today as I you know, went over uh, day 24. I hope that you would take that challenge. Um, I know in this time, in, in this society, you know, there's a lot of people pulling us, voices pulling us this way and that way. But just like um, scripture says, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. It also says, nor power, nor might, but by his spirit. Uh, continue to get into your word, continue to allow God's Holy Spirit to strengthen you, that you would no longer, and I will no longer live like the Gentiles, but we will live like our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.